how you define success governs how you live your life. What is your life's goal? What is your life's purpose? How you define that, that core place, that foundational tenet that drives everything else will determine how you live your life. The factors that help us to determine what we define as success stem from how we were raised. If you were raised in a healthy environment, perhaps a two-parent household, siblings and both parents worked and there was some money to go on vacation and things like that and that's great so success might look different for you but if you come from a different set of circumstances success could simply be graduating from high school. Success could be just waking up and not having to worry about someone taking advantage of you or abusing you or just being able to eat three meals a day instead of one. Success is dependent upon the individual and their surroundings. You can't let life stop you. If you are going to define success, you got to find out what your truth is. I don't know what your truth is. I'm just sharing my perspective. I'm not trying to proselytize. This is not that moment. I just want you to be true to who you are because I don't believe in accidental lives. Please hear me. I don't think you can just sneak into the earth. I believe you are spoken into the earth. And so you are necessary for a particular problem that only you can solve. And until you identify that thing, you will walk through life frustrated, trying to figure out why you can't find joy, why you don't have peace. And even though you have a lot of money, you still feel empty on the inside. Let me tell you something. I've seen a lot of people with hundreds of millions of dollars and they are broken on the inside because money doesn't bring you peace. The achievement of a goal locked and lined in with your purpose, that is success. Who are you when no one's looking, when you don't have this name tag, when we're not in the lobbies networking? Who are you before you go to bed? Who are you and what is it that drives you? What is the thing that gives your life meaning? Until you find that you will be broken thinking success is one thing and when you achieve it, you will realize you don't have it anymore. I believe all of these things are symbolic of a world that is in crisis and in peril and it is imperative to you as leaders and entrepreneurs and visionaries to understand that whatever success comes to you in this season of your life is not just for you to run off somewhere to an island with a big fence and say you made it. If you have been given a vision that will reach other people, you must now look and say how can I lift someone else up? Now, in this moment, in this nation, with more tension since we've had at any time since the 1960s, it's time for us to lay down our differences and redefine success, not by what we achieve for ourselves, but what we can make happen for others. Who's going to be impacted because of what you're doing today? If your business or your vision or your model is successful, who will be impacted 200 years from now? And will your name carry weight with those who are broken and those who are hurting? Because I can promise you, it's not going to get better. Because even one light shines bright in the darkness. What you each represent is an idea, an ideal, a moment that says, I have something that can help someone else. And when my life is finished, it will live on. Is your success about you or about those that are coming behind you? Every single day, move towards the core of who you are. Are you doing what you were created to do? Until you get there, you're going to be constantly frustrated, constantly trying to figure out why did this thing that I want so bad not bring me the happiness I thought would be attendant with it. Who you are, what your purpose is, and the gifts and the calling that you have are so unique that there will never be another you in the history of the earth. You must achieve. That's why you're here. You're driven to succeed. You're driven to maximize moments. You're driven to success. And this is my plea to you. 
that for the young guys like me that were looking for a leader, that were looking for someone to look up to, may your idea, may your company, may your business, may your vision be the thing that other people can latch on to and attach to and find hope. And not just hope, but healing for the heart. There are a lot of broken hearted people walking around right now. And if you're a part of this nation, we need all the hope we can get. We need all the peace we can get. We need all the forward thinking entrepreneurs and success drivers that we can get.